We're going to look at how to get existing files and folders you already have into your Google Drive. First, you want to make sure you are signed into your RCSD one-to-one -one Google Drive. So if you're into your RCSD one-to-one -one Google Drive, you should see the Rochester City School District logo in the upper left corner. You can hover over the icon with your initial, which will show your ID number at rcsd1to1.org, or you can click on that icon to see that information. If you are not Launch Chrome, click the Launcher app and select Drive. We are going to be adding new files to our drive. Click on the New button you s and you can see right at the top of the menu, File Upload and Folder Upload. For our next task, we are going to be uploading a file into an existing folder. So since I want this file to go into a specific folder, first I'm going to double click on that folder to open it. Now I go to the New button, select File Upload. This will bring you to the library's menu of your computer. Select where the file you would like to upload is currently located, in your documents, flash drive, on your desktop, etc. And then double click on the file. You will see in the bottom right corner a window showing that your file is being uploaded. Once the upload is complete, you will now see the file in your selected folder. You can upload non-Google files like Word documents, PDFs, and smart notebook files to your drive for storage. Since these are non-Google documents, when I try to open this smart notebook file, you'll notice I have to download the file. So in the center of the screen, I have a download button here, or in the upper right corner, you will see a download button. Click that, and you will see that the file is being downloaded, and then you can select to open that file. To upload a folder, the process is similar. Click on My Drive, click on New, and then you're going to select Folder Upload. Now you will notice only folders appear. So I'm going to scroll down to the folder I want to upload, select that folder, click OK. Folders generally take a little longer to upload, but you'll see that same window in the bottom right corner. For your second task, you are going to upload a file for a course that you are currently teaching into the folder that you created in task one.